The greatest barrier to cycling in Sydney is people's perception that it's unsafe. And that's, that's a really strong feeling. People don't want to mix in traffic. They don't trust mixing with drivers. We've heard people's feedback that the design is weird, <laughs> and that's true, it's, it's fairly unusual. We know that already, even with the difficult conditions, there are over 2,000 bike trips on Oxford Street a day. And the benefit of doing it in the middle on Oxford Street is, means we can leave the curbsides as they are. We know the curbsides are important to the businesses. From the point of view of people riding, you're not mixing it with the car doors, the deliveries, the taxis, the bus stops and you don't have to worry about the left turning traffic at every intersection. Seventy percent of people across Greater Sydney want to ride or want to ride more and they would if it was safe and convenient if they were separated from traffic. So that's what's driven um, our approach of providing separated facilities because we know that that's what it takes to let the majority of people who want to ride, ride. The government says College Street has to handle the traffic kicked off George Street by the light rail, so the cycleway is going. There's been a lot of change in attitudes locally towards cycleways since Burke Street first came in. But if you look at Burke Street now, you know, everyone agrees that Burke Street Cycleway is really added to the street. If you go near, sort of a little bit further south, you can see all the little primary school kids riding on the cycleway to school, um, both to Burke Street Public School and Crown Street Public School, and it just warms the cockles of your heart. I think without building cycleways and catering to the, the clearly demonstrated need and desire from people to, to take healthy and efficient transport, you, you just end up with more traffic and then that frustrates everyone. You know, every person on a bicycle is one less car in front of you, but it particularly benefits the more vulnerable. So kids riding to school, food delivery riders, big issue at the moment, absolutely important to make sure that people can be safe in their work you know, through to people, nurses and doctors working at hospitals, working shift work, um, not wanting to expose others on public transport or get exposed um, during COVID. So there, there are so many benefits um, and it would be foolish to, to not. <laughs>